Hi, my name is Marc Petitjean. I'm coming from Switzerland here in Norway for a couple of days fishing and tying. So what I'm going to show you now, it's three different patterns using CDC. Very simple, you will see, it's easy. Now let me show you how you can tie also CDC for a nymph. As you know, it's not all the time that the fish are up and we have insects on the surface. So this is important to make nymph. For that, I will use a bead. So you put the bead into the hook, like this. And to stabilize the bead, I will use a little bit of lead that I will put directly on the hook shank and push into the bead. Now, what I use is the tying thread and then I stabilize the lead section and then go up to the beginning of the bend of the hook, come back and now I will use the coq de leon for the tail, take few bobs like this, bring them together, adjust the length like this. Here we go. Now, I like very much to use uh, an olive feather for the, for the body. So, take the CDC by the large section, few wraps, pull until you reach the end, and then secure the feather where you are going to stop the body. Use this ackle plier so you can grab the CDC by the large section here and then twist and wrap around the hook chain like this. It's kind of a natural dubbing when you reach the place where you want to stop just release the plier, secure the feather and secure the thread. Now trim, trim all around the hook shank and you will have a very nice conical body shape. Okay, now the legs. For the legs, I will use only one feather and even not one full feather because it's too much. We just need to imitate the legs. For that, take the CDC like this and remove one half of the barbs. It will be far enough. For the thorax, I like very much to use a little bit of dubbing. And the dubbing, I will put it directly onto the table clip like this. Please do not use too much. We very often use too much material and it doesn't end up very well. Take the CDC, get it through, then trim on both sides, transfer on the regular clip and trim off the stem. So we have here the two components together. Now use your needle to split the thread. And then you can incorporate that substitute that way. Spin a little bit the thread in your finger and to secure, spin the bobbin holder again. When you've got enough, forward, rewind in. And what I like to show you here, it's very nice because the dubbing get very close to the thread and leave free the barbs and that move very well in the water to create the illusion of life. And now you use your finisher to make the knot, a second one to secure here and then you can put the fibers straight horizontal and if you have too much you can even cut a little bit what is on top and on the bottom and here you go